Wonderful good afternoon. This is Grandpa with the latest news from the Grandpa Neighborhood News Team. As some get it, as some go no. Me not take out, I'm a na put in. <laughs> A nurse lady was coming from work at the Princess Margaret Hospital where she met into a little accident where she run off the road and run on the sidewalk. No major damage, but the people are saying that the road is bad. That's the reason why she run off at the road. And the mayor for St. Thomas stroll to the communities go to Mangoro up by Cedar Valley to look at the brought down where the road broke off and is very dangerous for the people them to walk even to drive. We drive and and they're doing their estimate what to be done on the road. I'm Hubert Williams, Mayor of Marant Mayor. Um, today we are doing a tour up here in Mangoro, part of the Cedar Valley Division. And what we are seeing here is it, it's it's so sad. It's very, very sad because we are seeing people livelihood pretty much crippled because of government failure to hack. Um we have to get this situation resolved. Even at first in an emergency way and then we can um, fix it in a more permanent way. But um, we have some of our biggest coffee farmers in the parish using this road and they can't access their farm because government and willingness to act. We have to solve this problem. Residents can't access their property because the road is impossible. The road is dangerous. This road, for, for you to pass it, lives have to put at risk so you know it as again i said it is very sad and we have to just act and get the situation resolved so um hey, hey. what is your immediate plan as it relates to the road well when i get back to the office i'm going to sit with the technical team and we're going to have our discussion but i can say right now um the property owner owner adjacent to the road have already give written permission for the council to to cut an emergency road through um its property so that vehicle traffic can be be, be facilitated and any time as to when you'll start well as i said i'm going to sit with the technical team when i reach back to the office and uh, we'll have a discussion and based on that discussion we will we will um, move as quick as possible. Uh, will you be able to see a cost then or no? Huh? Will you be able to see a cost then or no? Well, then when you put um, the technical team put the estimates together, then we'll be able to um, to to come to uh, of course a cost. Yeah. Yes. But that is in the short term, though. Yes. Yes. Well, well, um, everything got to be. All of this have to be done in the short term in terms of the emergency work. As I said before, um, further down the line, I design will have to be, be, be put together from, from um, central government and um, we work on that for the permanent road but in terms of no we have to do we have to act because people livelihood is crippled paralyzed and now we are in the hurricane season well 
we all know that we are in the um, hurricane season we know that this division is very vulnerable to um um the hurricane and flooding and landslides and stuff like that can, can, can you tell us then in terms of the scope of work what exactly the council will do well as you know i'm not a technical person you know uh, i'm the mayor so as i said before we're going to sit together with the technical team and we're going to come up with a with, with a solution to this problem okay thank you very much god bless you and tomorrow the cedar valley people will be getting water because they have no water up there and the mayor is going to see to it that them get water tomorrow so the people of cedar valley please to look out for the water truck tomorrow and we're going to go to some of the citizens from the mangaro era cedar valley and they're going to give us for them partake about the brook half road my name is winston bull winston what bull I'm in suffering from this block away because of my farm. That is my farm properly. That is block away. And I need it to happen. Like right now, I'm going to come up for the rainfall. That come now, it will be a So a lot of people use this road? More than 20 of us have got a 30 of farm. Okay, so that's a farm area? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have hope? Coffee, horse, everything on this side. Okay, okay. But they have suffered for it the last couple of years. It's suffering, but suffer too. Like cars, the more we now. Okay, okay. And the cab come, we give out the vehicle and the money, go down to, to feed yourself. Oh, okay. We have to do a lot of things different to survive. I, think, I guess it's not right for us. We need a better help towards this road, sir. And we do it right, like right now. I mean, I mean, the next three, four years, got to carry back of the class. Okay. So, so how long since this break away? From 2018. From 2018? Yes. Five years now. Yes. Wow. Like you look me see, I call brother come look and I go. If you not try nothing to do it. So who always come? How can a person come up here? Every minute. Okay, okay. How can a person come here every minute? I'm not sure nothing to do it. So therefore you need action instead of talking. Look and come look. We might have something to start and we might have to involve it with something towards it. That we need. Teamwork? Yes, a dream work. Right, right. You know, we are suffer, sir. Next thing you walk up on the road, if you're going in the gully, them, they lock them off. They don't tell the main problem we have. Okay, you drain them lock off? Yes. And the main problem is because it's pretty Okay, okay. Too much water from one place. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, that's what we can do, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what you see, I don't want to hear you come here. No, man, it's a very simple spot. Yeah, we're do something. Trust me. We're going to do something. After the kill, you know? Yes, I know. I know how to take it off the man. It's paralyzed, mm -hmm. we can't move. If you need to have a bike, bike and a donkey in there. So we can't do big that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Can't beg that. No donkey. <laughs> road and water, number one. So, so no water, no road. No, no, no. no. wilderness. So you have no people live behind this district school. Around, 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 around here. Mm -hmm. Right back, connect back, rich man. Name the high school. Can't think of the pass over there. More yeah. Pick me pass over yeah. high school. Walk. Put Charlie to the square and some of the time they can't get a drive. See there? You don't want to see a fire. You don't want to go near when we drop down there. Turn the camera down there. Oh, see, ready to see it already, man. Yeah, be yeah, serious, man. Oh. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. And we want to sh we give a shout out to PMP Mrs. Sandy. She is running for the councillor by the Cedar Valley Division. So we're going to go right to her for she to give us her partake. My name is Sandra Anderson, a.k.a. Sandy Solid, the next councillor for the Cedar Valley Division. I've been doing a lot of initiative in this area, such as back to school medical, painting of the community centers. Uh, I have a book drive coming up in August. 
August 19 at the Minto All Age School. I'll be having a free back to school medical there. Um, August 26, I'll be having a free back to school medical in Bethel Gap as well. Things are looking great in this area so far and we expect to continue to have this seat in the upcoming election, whenever they call it, we're already so time if, come. If you're chosen to be the next um, um, councillor, councillor, what are you going to bring to the table? The table that is different. As new, right. From the others. Well, I've been doing that so far. I bring um, bird paper drive in this area. I bring um, passports. I did some work on the community centers. I'm doing some uniform for back to school. Um, I'm doing book drive and stuff like that. And um, the main problem in our division is water and road. Right. Water right. and road is the main problem that we have. This road has been, um, well, I'm 49 and I'm me born and grow and see that road are the same way. I want to make a difference. And I know I can make a difference. And you will make a and difference. And I will make a difference. All right, that's a new caretaker take a candidate for the Cedar Valley Division. As Marsha Francis, the sitting councillor, will be out. She will be taking the presidents of the year. God be with you. Thank God you. bless you. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, in Somerset District, in St. Thomas, they have a road where the road broke off the light post, pop out, and drop down on the river. So, Miss Kimberly is going to give her speech pertaining to the fixing of the road that broke off, tear down, where everybody frightened for walk on. I am Kimberly Thompson. I am the councillor candidate representing the People's National Party for the Trinity Bill Division. Now, one of the most pressing issues in the community of Somerset is the breakaway that uh, you would have just gotten some footage of. It is a very dangerous place and if you think it looked bad by standing up here then you would have to actually go down to the river and look underneath and you will get a fulsome understanding of just how ugly and dangerous it is. It is a matter that needs to be addressed forthwith because if it should stay like this for, an, for another extended period of time, then chances are the top part of the community will be cut off from the bottom part. Top part. This is what um, I would describe as blatant neglect of the community over the years and a lack of poor representation. So what I would like to see happen right now is simple. It is just to have this matter addressed because we say we care about people and we want to uh, attend to the needs of people. Then there is no greater need in the community of Somerset at this time than to add. Yeah, man. My name is Abraham Barnum from Somerset. Live in Somerset. Never go outside of Somerset. This is my district. I'm going back and front. Um, right here. Right here is a little bit of problem from the wall um, fall apart. We're not getting our really assistant to really move forward to get this done. So this is what we want to do now. Let's try to get it done. I make the district can come back to a normal life. It's not only this is the problem, we have a next bridge of wash away. Where part of the district in a tomb. But the life is done as well. So we don't know what we can do to assist you to get it. So, how long since this wall broke apart? Uh, I can't remember, but a long time. More than five years? Yeah, more than five years. So, how long are you like post that down? The same time. Oh, That's said... why we don't have even internet. The internet line go down here with it. Okay. So, we don't really have internet up here. We have to do only in that internet system to get internet up here. There's a fold up here. Yeah. We have to carry the internet and carry the put it up here to come over in our district to make the district move forward. Oh, okay. And we got to be on the wall, said we don't know what to do. 
So you need, you need a lot of help in this community yeah, then? One of the problems. Uh, than to address the breakaway, get it fixed so that it does not endanger the lives of our citizens here. Yes, I'm Hubert Williams, Mayor of Marant Bay, and Acting Councillor for the Trinityville Division. Um, the community have reached out to us, they have wrote to us, they have uh, made verbal complaint about the breakaway and um, that it's endangering life. The, the vehicles have to go so close to it in order to go to the upper part of the community. Um, so myself and a team from the MC came out today and um, look at it. Um, we recognize that um, just one heavy show of rain would put us in a situation where we can't access the upper part of the community. So um, we, we have looked at it and um, something has to be done to it immediately. It, it's as simple as that. It's really bad and um, as I said, lives and livelihood could be lost if we don't address this matter right away. It's a matter of, it's a matter that needs immediate attention. Thank you. And the residents from the Cedar Valley District, Ron Mangaro, they're giving a big shout out to the extra net internet system that they joined together to put a good look in the Mangaro District that they could use internet. So they're giving a big shout out to them. Yeah, we we'll join with the extra net and uh, extra net do the internet system. So we have to pay like four depend on how much meg. Like three meg you have to pay four thousand dollars. Pretty expensive anyway. But we have to just work with it because if it was the extra net, we'd have to be on the wall. No know nothing to the world. Okay. Yeah. Phone system not work up here one hundred percent. So you have to go with the internet. Cause we go go as far as try to get a pool. We can't get a pool to the community, the assist the community. We can't get that. So this is the internet system we'll put in um, where everybody can get internet to use. Okay, so the committee come together now and just decide that they're gonna to come together and just try to get the internet system so that yeah. people can live a more comfortable life up in this area. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But I only hope that um this will reach who in authority so they can come out and assist you people in the Somerset. Yeah, sure. Um, would I like would I love that? No. Alright. Yeah, guys, here's our dish. You know, I put together the internet. You pay $4,000 a month. The internet, like 3 meg. Yeah, if you want more, make it more money. So I'm 3 meg, I really do not know, but it helps. Alright. That is the news from the Grand Pandemic News Team. So I got it as I go now. I'm not to go out and I'm not to go in. May God continue to bless you now. Because I can bless you now. Over.